This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. If this video helps you, please subscribe to our channel. Today we have a DCS range burner that clicks but doesn't light and this is a very common problem for many gas stoves. This will work on a lot of other types of stoves besides DCS but it's pretty easy to fix. It just involves some cleaning. So first thing I'll do is take off the uh, grill so I can get to the burners. And when I test these, I notice that a lot of them are lighting really good, but the front right one, you can hear it click, but not getting any ignition. And that usually means that something's wrong with um, the gas flow or the spark is not strong enough. So we're going to correct both those problems fairly easily. I'm just checking the other ones real quick too, but they light up pretty fast. So it should be just after you turn it on, maybe within a second or two, you should get an ignition. Now take off this burner cap and I'm just going to clean some of these parts. First thing I like to do though is look down inside here and look for a little hole that I'm going to clean out on the little brass piece here that we can see it has a little tiny hole in the middle. And I'm gonna stick this owl in there and gently move around to break up any debris that might be in there. And when I turn the gas back on, it'll blow that debris back out and more gas will come out and then it's more likely to light. You can use a, a straightened paper clip would work too. But I'm just putting that in lightly, spinning it around to break up any of that uh, debris. Sometimes if you have a boil over condition like uh, with, with milk, it can get caught in there and dry out and then clog it up. So we're going to see if that's any better. Put on the cap, try it out. And yeah, it is lighting, but it's still taking a bit too long. So I don't think that was... Uh, enough to solve the problem but that might have been part of the problem so it could have been not enough gas flow the other idea is to really clean all the metal parts because it's still not lighting every time and if you get all the metal parts really clean you have a nice strong uh, circuit and I'm going to clean this gently clean this porcelain igniter too but basically I'm just using the wire brush to clean all of the surfaces where metal touches metal. So like the rim here of this part touches the burner cap <coughs> right here. <coughs> so I'm cleaning both those surfaces really well. And then it's basically like a when you put them together like a solid wire and that creates a really good ground and creates a big fat spark which is more likely to uh, light. And when those get dirty or they get wet or greasy they don't create a very good circuit anymore and the spark is either not present or it's not strong enough to light it. So this is a little bit tedious but it just involves cleaning all those parts really well with the wire brush. We're also going to try using some electrical contact cleaner too. That works really well. And I'm trying again to make sure the little hole there is free of any debris. I noticed that the top part of this burner is a little bit loose, so I think I'll tighten that up here in a second too. These wire brushes are great. You can get them at Amazon.com. They're only a couple of bucks, but they do a great job in cleaning up these burner caps. So I'm trying it again, and again, it should be like an immediate ignition. It's still delayed. This is electrical contact cleaner. You can get this at Home Depot. They sell it in the electrical section. And it works really good. It's basically like a liquid ether. I'm spraying that on and that'll help clean everything up. Then when I turn it on, I'll get a big flame and that's just that ether burning off. And I'll keep, keep it on until all that cleaner has burned away. And then I'll keep testing it. And when it's all burned away, if it still lights every time, 
then I know I, I've done the trick and I'm all done. And if it doesn't, I might have to do a little bit more cleaning. Usually the first few steps we've taken already will get your uh, problem burner going right away. I've noticed with most stoves that the front right and front left, especially the front right, are often the ones that don't light. And that kind of makes sense. We're, those are the ones we use the most often, especially the one on the right. So we're getting better ignition now. It's more often lighting up. I'm checking this one on the left too. So I look down in that little hole and I'm going to gently move this owl around to break up any debris that might be in there. Okay, now I used a wrench to loosen the little nut and went lefty loosey to get it off. And that's going to allow me to get in and do an even better cleaning of the metal to metal surfaces. And the concept there again is to create a really good solid circuit. If you have a stove that clicks continually, even after it's lit, this is often the case where you just have to clean all these metal surfaces. When the spark module can't tell that there's a really good circuit, it assumes that it didn't light, it'll just keep clicking. But when you get a really good clean metal to metal contact, then uh, usually that problem goes away too. So most problems with stoves either clicking all the time or clicking and not lighting is due just to them being a little bit dirty. I have to line up this pin on this piece to fit into that hole. You gotta get that nice and flat. And I'm gonna put this nut on with finger tension and then I'll use a wrench or a socket to get it nice and snug. You don't have to get it crazy tight, but you wanna get it snug where there, it really doesn't have any movement. And with all these steps we've taken, we should now have a pretty good ignition. Let's test it out. Yeah, so now every time that we turn it, it's lighting up. And we have a nice stove now with a strong flame and a quick ignition. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate you coming to our channel. Please subscribe when you get a chance by pressing the subscribe button and also the bell button so we can send you notifications of any new videos that come along. And we have a new thing here called the applaud button. If you really liked the video, if it was helpful to you, if you can click that, we really appreciate that. It shows your um, interest in our, in our channel and your support and can't thank you enough. Feel free to contact me at the email listed below, which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions. And also, if you need to have a uh, FaceTime meeting with me or a Zoom meeting, you can click on one of the links below in the description and we can set up a 15 minute or 30 minute video conference where we can work on your appliance problem. So thanks again for all your support and for watching the video.